Okay, I was liking the lantern, or, well... I'm not sure I should say lantern, what was the name again? Dying light. <laughs> good night, good luck. But yeah, no, I was liking it at the start, but now it's becoming a little annoying. So let's check down here and see if my theory is correct. Well, we have a pulley. And oh my god, there's a rat guard right... Or is that... No, that sure as hell is not a rat guard. That seems like a smuggler. Of some kind. Where would this go down then? Oh, well. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But well, let's go up again and actually check down that other tunnel. Play to win the silver ring. Yeah, no, I have been down there the entire night, I'm starting to think so. I might as well spend a little time in these caverns and then return afterwards. I do gotta say, man, really, really enjoying the level design of this place. That's the thing with caves as well, it's... I've noticed in many games that, well... In third or first person games, when you... When people or game designers design caves... It's really hard to get it to that point where you feel like it's a cave, but you don't feel cramped. And I think they have done pretty well here. Perhaps considering that I am the size of a mouse. But that's neither here nor there. But... Let's get this attire going. And continue into... Possibly the beast's mouth. Oh, trapdoor, hello. Uh, okay, there's a ladder. Good, because I was not gonna drop down there if I couldn't get up again. Yeah, why don't we open some shutters? Let's in, let in some light. And we have some... No, not, not any oil, okay. Hey, that's got to be the key for that entrance part. Harbor house, possibly where the boss sits, perhaps? Yup, and now we have officially gone full circle. I have officially gone full circle with the catacombs. Good to have another shortcut unlocked. Also, the dust particles that happens when when my feet taps on the ladder. <laughs> I can't tell if that's a slight mistake or if the or if it's meant to symbolize that the ladders are just really dusty. But either way, we have another bed. Sweet. Anything else in here? Not that I can see at first glance, at the very least. Okay, so let's soldier onwards. Pun intended.
So where do I end up now? Right above the gateway to this house over here. I'm just wondering how surprised are they going to be when they see me holding a miniature version of these giant lamps. Or giant... Could you call that a brazier? Perhaps. That one's blue, that one's red. That was also blue, that one, these ones are also red. Interesting. Well, let's see who's behind door number one. Any fellow guards in here that I need to worry about? Nope, I know it's something inside, but I'm preparing for when I may or may not need to hide. Oh, right, I completely forgot you had handkerchiefs on you. Completely forgot about that. But hey, I ain't, I ain't looking to steal something right now, so that's fine. That's cool. Anything for me to steal? Nope. Not yet. Elevator gate key. Feel like that's important. I'm gonna grab myself some bread as well, because why not? Do find it interesting that I can't actually jump up on the table, but well, what you gonna do? And let's can I read this? Don't think I can. That's a good thing with the rest mist with uh, with the red mist powers as well. You can easily tell if you're able to interact with something or not. There are at least a few things I can interact with here, and one is the pirate's boots. And a pair of buccaneer's boots and silk sash and belt. So what do we have here, if anything? Nothing. Okay. Florins and an apple. I'll take it. Chamber pot with nothing in it. <laughs> Somebody hasn't had a shit or pee in a while then. Coastal status report. Because why not? And. Was there anything over here? Yes, one of these. Can I burn you with. Nope, I need a candlestick for that. This is too risky. <laughs> Not too risky anymore. You don't see shit. Jesus Christ, you heard that growl. That legit scared me. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, I don't goof now. But hey, I already tried it for science before, so I I was perfectly aware that I wasn't going to be in any major trouble. Okay, so where am I going exactly? Okay, I'm going to the lower regions of this place. That's much for sure. Some grain? Nothing else to interact with over there. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. <laughs> Preparing the barrel for hideout. Why don't I? Nothing over here. And nothing over here. Yeah, nope. I am good. Hello there, Private Scout. We have for an investigation. By orders of the commander, I am to not be hindered in my work. And I may or may not need your handkerchief. It's nice to hear the water. Hmm. 
must be a reason for me to be able to actually go up here. It's my thinking. Well, nothing with the red mist at the very least. Am I able to... I think I might be able to go out there, but I don't see any big reason for it, really. Yeah, no, I think I'm just doing unnecessary things right now. So, can I by any chance... Huh. Ah, that's the elevator gate key. Okay. I see. Well... <laughs> Good idea of taking that way then. And that's a thunder crab. Finally get to see one. I'm gonna take that. And let's see if I can pull this off again without arousing too much suspicion. <laughs> Can't burn banners while you're being watched. Is that guy constantly looking at me? Yep, seems like it. <laughs> Gosh darn. It's not safe to burn a banner right now. But I want to burn it. Man. Oh, goody goody. Let's just um, admire the water for a little. The shading looks nice, the fog gives a nice atmosphere, and the rocks jutting out just really sells it, so to speak. I am liking it. So many angus chefs, so little time. But anyway, I guess we could go back up and check that other path before we check anything further down here. This is also a really good selling point of a game where when they manage to make exploring in this manner fun and not tedious. Because I want to check out what's over here before I do anything else. Is that... well, it's smoke. Gosh darn it, do I really have to wait for you to pass? You fat ass. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Well, I'm gonna go past you. Screw you, man. Screw you and your slow fucking walk. Preparing just in case. I'm at where right now exactly? Well, somewhere. I. Oh, hang on, is that? Oh, yeah. That's that place right there. Damn, Jesus, there's much more to this place than I initially thought. Much more. Hey, Lake Shore. I made it. Cool stuff.
Okay. Well, I don't want to be too hasty, but I do want to explore this last little part here. So, do we have a way up behind here? No, it doesn't look like we do. Then what's over here? Something like a secret hideout thing. Well, there's a gold nugget. Perhaps it's just another part of the shore. Oh, hello there. Um, shouldn't I be able to interact with you? I feel like I should. I guess not then. For right now I have no freaking clue where I am. Well okay, now that I have explored at least some of this, we will go back up at least a bit. I do want to go have a look at that Thunder Crab. But after that I... Oh, hello, another gold nugget. After that I want to go and see if I can get that ring from Belalar. And we'll take it from there. I perhaps hmm right pirates boots I think we have that ah from the sundown pen in the harbor right meet the blacksmith on the cliffs Let's go to Master's True Identity. Need to find the flower still. <laughs> yeah, I have a few things to do. But okay, first of all, Sunder Crab. Thundercrab is top priority right now, and look at that. Hang on, hang on. Hold your horses. Look at that beautifulness. 